up, guys? Bird at Genesis Jiu Jitsu. And I have a question for my parents out there. So I'm a parent. I'm a, I have, my son's only two years old. He's not training Jiu Jitsu officially yet. He did push me down the other day and he loved it. He That was the best time. And then I pushed him down. He liked that too. So things are looking good, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully he gets into it naturally. I take him around the gym a lot, you know. Um, he's going to grow up kind of immersed in it. And I really hope naturally that he gravitates towards training. <clears throat> if he doesn't, you know, I've thought about that situation. And uh, I'm still going to love him. But I'm just wondering, should I make him do it? You know, if he doesn't do it naturally, should I make him do it? And I've decided at this point, you know, I've had a couple years to think about it. I'm definitely making him do it. If he doesn't naturally get into it by the time he's eight years old, then I'm going to start pressing. Like, hey, you're going to class, you know. And I want to hear about you guys. You know, I know a lot of parents are like, oh, I don't want to make my kid do anything. And I see that as the coach and the business owner. Kids quit all the time because they don't want to do it. It's hard. It's a lot easier to go home and play video games or watch, you know, you know, nighttime television or whatever and kill time kind of doing, you know, easier things. That's human nature. We want to do what's easier. They're not not every kid is naturally going to come into an environment where they're going to be taken down. Someone is going to be on top of them, kind of dominating them. Uh, they're not going to volunteer for that necessarily. So in the beginning, I think they need to push. Sometimes, you know, some kids are like roughhouse. They love it. They have brothers who are like, oh, I can't wait to get in there. Their first day, they're wanting to spar. They're wanting to roll, you know. Uh, not every kid is like that. Some kids come in and they're very timid. Like, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm. I think I was like that. I didn't have brothers. I was, you know, that physicality. At first, I was, you know, like really timid about it. And luckily, I had a good friend introduce me to jujitsu. And I think he did a good job of kind of showing me the ropes, you know. And we try to do that at Genesis. You know, we try to go at their pace. If they're ready to jump in, then we supervise it and we let them spar. But if they're timid, we say, hey, don't worry about sparring yet. Just just watch this part or we'll get them to work with a coach or even put them to play other kind of challenges like top game and stuff like that where, you know, and we definitely don't allow submissions on the new kids. But um, anyway, it's not easy. So, you know, some parents are like, oh, my kid doesn't want to do this anymore. So I'm not going to make them. I don't want to make my kid do anything. And I think it's so sad, honestly. Of course the kid would rather go home and play video games you know if you give him that option especially if you let him do it some and he starts to get the thrill of the video games and the instant gratification and stuff like that but I'm telling you whenever they get older they will thank you for making them train whatever their sport is hopefully it's jujitsu or something that's going to teach them self-defense as well, rather than putting a ball in a hoop or whatever, which is what I did as a kid. But haven't used that skill, and it hasn't helped me in any way, really, you know, since uh, I was doing it to stay in shape. Whereas jujitsu has changed my life, you know, given me confidence, life-changing confidence to stand up for myself, to take on challenges, you know, just completely life-changing benefits from jujitsu that I've experienced. So your kid will thank you for making him stay and train. It's not, he may be bitter about it for the first week or month or two months. But by that point, if your kid is under good instruction, they are going to see improvement. And if you're encouraging them at home and we're encouraging them at the gym and their teammates are encouraging them and they're in that kind of environment 
and they start to see, oh man, that guy didn't beat me like he did last week. I survived. Man, I was able to get a takedown on that one kid. He usually always takes me down. I got him this week. This new kid comes in. He's kind of bigger, you know, and he's kind of like the old me would have been scared of him. But now I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little more confident. And I start to see, I put him in a headlock and take him down. And he taps out. What does that do to my confidence as a kid? Now it's not a battle to get the kid to go to jujitsu. Now he's like, mom, I want to go two days a week. I want to go three, four, five days a week. So yeah, it's going to be a struggle at first. But you need to make your kids do things, in my opinion. And uh, I want to hear y'all's opinion. You know, it's just my opinion. I would love to hear everyone else's.